Welcome back everyone. Here we are with the Black Duck series this time. A lot of you guys have been waiting for this video, so I thought I'd better do it sooner than later. So anyway, if you remember, we took out the legs, totally out of the skin. Um, oh, by the way, um, I'm going to leave the link of uh, skinning this black duck in the uh, in the comment area below or in the uh, basically description part of this video so if uh, those of you who haven't seen um, the skinning and uh, fleshing part of the black duck you can watch it anyway uh, we took the legs out out of this duck and we decided to demonstrate this method so this is gonna be a flying bird and uh, the feet are a little bit easier for posing because uh, they're you know we kind of like know exactly what they're gonna look like so I have my pre-measured wires I installed the wires right back into uh, the back of the ankles and uh, I try to secure them with my um, electrical tape but if you notice the other leg which is right on the table still that has a broken bone on uh, on the drumstick area so I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that. So the first one is taped up and ready to uh, inject. For this one that doesn't have the um, drumstick bone, we still in, uh, basically put the wire in the normal way on the back of the leg. And you just make sure that don't poke the bottom of the feet with your wire and don't extend the wire out. Just make sure that it stops right in the, underneath the foot pad and the center pad. Okay, now we cut out um, a piece of a stick. I, I have a variety of these bamboo sticks in my shop. I buy them from Dollar Store and they're always uh, good for these uh, basically procedure like replacing wing bones or leg bones. So you have the other leg intact and um, that's all you have to do just uh, match it up with the other one I like to wrap some threads around the stick and wire and uh, because that thread is going to hold it pretty good and the, my threads are cotton and um, when I'm done wrapping the thread around them around the wire and the stick I like to use some crazy glue and then it really makes it solid it won't go anywhere okay now as you can see I'm applying the crazy glue and of course I have the activator spray too to make it set instantly I just give it a small drop around uh, where that um, skin is being uh, basically starting around that stick so and then I continue to glue all over that stick and make it uh, make it quite solid and I still in order to make it uh, like kind of like equal thickness to the other leg I still tape it up too And then everything is going to get ready for injection. So what I'm injecting them with, um, for waterfowls, I found that master blends work a lot better than this solution that I'm telling you. But I mean, for, for guys who are not having master blends um, in their um, in their local store or you're living in a country that you cannot get master blend, this would be a good um, substitution basically is 50% glycerin you can get it from um, any drugstore and 50% formaldehyde so you just mix them and inject them with insulin syringe or very fine needle syringe into every part of the leg and not all the toes so that will basically it will not set as quick as master blends which is I believe about three minutes this will set a little bit slower and um, 
for waterfowls I've realized that it doesn't perform as well I, I don't know why maybe it's just because inside the legs of the waterfowls are too fatty and doesn't have strong tendons I don't know exactly that's my guess but uh, over the time I have experienced that the master blends work better for for waterfowls Mo most birds outside of waterfowls I still like I prefer this over master blends because it's uh, slower and uh, and basically it you can't uh, overfill them overfill the toes with master blend is quite easy so anyway I'm zooming it in a little bit you can see that I have a little bit of a seepage coming out of the holes which is okay that's why I have that rag underneath it and uh, I usually go from tip of the toes and uh, as soon as I inject them even with master blend as soon as I inject them I uh, I start massaging that area so it doesn't get all um, overly plumped up because most of the birds that we do with master blends if we're not careful not saying that it always is gonna happen if you're not careful we're gonna make the foot like it has bumble bumble foot you know it's always over over blown up but uh, with this solution with formaldehyde solution Actually, it's quite nice and uh, it's pretty hard to um, uh, basically over inject it. So you can see that I'm injecting into my syringe with a bigger needle because it's going to take forever to uh, suck up that uh, thick solution through that insulin. It's easy to push it out, but it's not going to be easy to suck it in. So anyway, we're going to set them aside. Pretty much what you see is the style of them drying for flying mounts. So I wash the excess off with lacquer thinner. It washes everything down. And I set them aside for drying. Now, it is dry right now. This is a video made a few days later. And uh, basically what I'm doing, I'm creating a little bit of a buildup with crazy glue and a spray activator spray for where the skin is going to be attached so it's a steady thickness all around that uh, skin area so that's what I'm doing right now now we're gonna start painting it so what I'm using right now here for for duck feet or geese because of their scale is being so little um, what I do I cover up that uh, glue area that I made so I don't have paint where I want to uh, glue the skin and I give my feet a total white color as a primer because as you can see it has uh, dried into multiple shades of orange and dark and black and everything so I usually paint my feet all the time uh, white it doesn't have to be like solid white as long as you give it a good shade of white so any other paint on top of this will show true colors so that's what I'm doing right now because if you start painting orange on top of that feet it's not gonna look nice but now I'm going to give it a shade of orange and you can see right over the white how easy and steady and uh, nice that uh, that color is gonna look even it's not gonna have dark patches showing from underneath so and I'm gonna make it solid orange everywhere I forgot this time but usually I cover up the toes so it doesn't get paint on it I mean there are small uh, sorry uh, the claws the um, it's easy to wipe them off but it's it's easier actually uh, to avoid it it's easy to avoid it so anyway we got them all orange right now with airbrush and all I'm using is acrylic paint lifetone paint uh, I think it's called mallard orange that's the uh, that's the color so I like to use pen pastel for blending and uh, finishing but you cannot use pan pastel 
right off the bat. That your, your surface has to have a little bit of a texture to it in terms of um, not the scale texture, the, the paint texture. So master, uh, so the pan pasta will stick to it so you can work with it. And please don't ask me what colors I'm using for pan pasta. I am always changing them. I don't have a set schedule of paints uh, to tell you this paint first and the next one is that. Like, you know what? Um, I should say that I'm, I'm pretty good with mixing and blending colors. So I have created pretty much the same blend of colors uh, a blend of or shade of color using totally different colors every time so right now the colors that you see I don't know what they're called that's what I'm using and trying to make them basically a little bit shaded uh, in, in the in the web area or um, I'll, I'll I'll make a couple of pictures I'll take a couple of pictures for you to see uh, the end result um, so basically with a with a small brush I'm applying the um, pan pastel right now starting with darker one and uh, then with yellow and lemon and orange try to come up with um, with some sort of a shape that I like this is um, this is best to be done with uh, referring to your reference photos and that's what I've, I'm doing. You can't see it in the movie because it's on an iPad standing in front of me. So what I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to say is if I wanted to apply this powdery pan pastel right on the skin, it all slides off or it gets caught into the between the gaps and the scales. It won't be as good as when you have a primer on or something like that. I like to paint them, at least give them a um, dust of uh, their base color with airbrush or brush and then I'll finish it off with pan pastel it works 10 times better even the, the worse than this would be the beak beaks you cannot basically paint them or at least okay I'm sorry I don't know I'd better say it that way maybe there are some people who are smarter than I am and they know how to paint it right off the bat with pan pastel but I can't I need to have a base coat of um, of a regular airbrush color on it before I can finish it off with pan pastel yeah so basically every feet on any bird that I'm trying to paint I just look at a few uh, even if even if I know what color they look they are I still refresh my memory with looking at some references and I grab a bunch of uh, paint out of my uh, selection of pan pastel and start playing around um, I'm not afraid I suggest you not be afraid either of you know making uh, making a mess and and fixing it because that's how you get more confident about it and uh, you can you can basically uh, do whatever you want with these paint blending because if you get stuck with uh, let's say what well, there is so many different shades of orange or yellow or green out there and if you get stuck with the paint schedule especially when it comes to these things um, if you run out of one then you're gonna delay your work because you know you have to get one or whatnot so and get it again or and then you you get stuck so my suggestion is use different paints not not purposefully but don't get stuck on on uh, schedules anyway uh, I'm cleaning the paint off of the claws and um, as simple as this this video is coming to an end for the part one and um, stick around I'm trying to set up this video one one a day to complete the mount and uh, we'll load up the next one hopefully as soon as tomorrow thank you very much for watching this was the painting video we'll start mounting the duck tomorrow thanks bye, -bye.